I didn't fall. That was the biggest thing for me. Good afternoon, fellow graduates and distinguished guests. It is an honor to stand before you today as we celebrate the completion of our master's degree programs. HEC has illuminated our path towards greater opportunities, deeper connections, and a better understanding of ourselves. How? Well, let me start by saying that completing this master's program was the second hardest milestone I have done after I pushed my daughter out. This moment is the result of hard work, dedication, perseverance, and late night calls to my brothers, both finance graduates. I am born and raised on Aruba, a small island in the Dutch Caribbean with about 90,000 people, one third the population that walks the Champs-Élysées daily. I had been born to immigrant parents that both believed in education. And being a first-born Indian girl, they also believed in educating women, which I am fortunate to keep me off the aisles of marriage for a while. <laughs> Each of us has a unique story that led us to embark on our agency journey. Some faced hardships, others were motivated by career advancement, and some were fortunate to receive support from their company, like I was. I couldn't afford HEC education on my own, but thanks to the unwavering belief in my capabilities by the organization I work for, I stand here today. They even flew from Aruba to be here and celebrate this moment with me. <laughs> Quoting Thomas Edison, opportunity is missed by most people because it's dressed in overalls and it looks like work. I think every single graduate here would agree that work is an understatement to the amount of effort it has taken us to stand in this room before you. I recall the admission interview. It was Professor Etienne, by the way. <laughs> at that time, I was enrolled in two other programs, one at Harvard, and a second at the University of Peace. And, he, and my professor said, can you handle this on top of being a career, of having a career, sorry, and being a single mother? And at the time of the phone call, I was actually at my daughter's tennis class. I just said, I need to handle it, so I will. In the words of Yoda, do or do not, there is no try. <laughs> HEC has educated and inspired self-reflection, encouraging us all to examine our goals and dreams. Alongside great lecturers, HEC provides opportunities to collaborate with excellent coaches, enhancing our soft skills alongside academics. With an entrepreneurial mindset, meeting these coaches motivated me to involve our training department at the company I work for to recruiting them to coach our team. We are all interconnected threads in the tapestry of life. HEC, even during COVID, offered remote learning for work-study balance and personal growth beyond graduation. The MSIE program prepares us for leadership and expands our network of opportunity. In conversation with a classmate, Ali Shad, he compared applying to the MSIE program at HEC to applying for a soccer camp Instead of only learning soccer skills, we learn to collaborate with teammates and develop the abilities required for collective success. On the day we submitted our team project and completed our final exam, I recall finishing that exam very late at night so that my daughter would be asleep and wouldn't interrupt. It was during this hectic time that I met my current partner and welcomed three new children into our lives which turned out to be a blessing in many, many ways. He became my teacher in love and showed me what it is to love unconditionally. To come from a loving family, gain an education of high caliber at HEC, to be lived and loved, to be promoted into C-suite, and finally, most importantly, to be a parent of such a beautiful child. In the audience, I am more than lucky. I am blessed with grace.
I am immensely grateful to the divine, to our families, to our friends and loved ones for their constant support and motivation. I am also thankful to the professors and the coaches and mentors for their invaluable guidance, wisdom, and for pushing us to explore new ideas and pursue our passions. Today's graduation marks the beginning of a new phase in our journey of learning and self-discovery. I am proud to receive my Master's in Innovation and Entrepreneurship, a program that empowers us to drive innovation in any organization and thrive as entrepreneurs, embracing risk and learning from failure. My life is a balance between my heart and my mind, which is evident in my yoga teaching. Moreover, during our final year, we embarked on an entrepreneurial project with an incredible group of individuals sitting here today. To sum it up, we juggle the masters, have a career, our parents, startup development, and some of us teach yoga, among other things. The key is not to stop one life, to start another. The true beauty of achievement lies in balancing the various aspects of our lives within the time we have. Let us utilize our education and talents to make a positive impact, contribute to society, and be agents of change. As we step into the next chapter of our lives, I quote Judy Dent from the film The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. The only real failure is the failure to try, and success is measured by how we handle disappointment. It is also true that a person who risks nothing does nothing, has nothing. All we know about the future is that it will be different. But perhaps we fear that it will be the same. So we must celebrate the changes. Fellow graduates, let us celebrate this moment of change as a turning point in our lives that brings us greater opportunities, deeper connections, and a better sense of self. Congratulations, we did it.